Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm really excited for today's video because I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some products I have been using off camera that I haven't mentioned on here yet, and I'm gonna tell you what I think, if they're good, if they're not, um, and just kinda give you my overall thoughts and opinions, and we have a little bit of everything. We have some skincare, we have some hair care, we have some makeup, so it's gonna be like a fun little like, bloop, bloop, like little montage of products. Now to start this whole thing off, I do want to mention something else actually that I've never said on camera, but I was accepted into the Octoly program Program, which I think is kind of cool and basically what actually is for those of you that don't know again This is not sponsored all my uh, thoughts and opinions on what I'm about to talk about They are my own Octoly is not paying me This is just for those of you that don't know or are not familiar with it um, Octoly is actually a website that if you are a creator on the platform you can go to and um, Submit to be accepted into their free products program and basically at any given time you have um, Five tokens or five. I think they call them free credits and you can select up to five items to pull from the store and review them and they kind of go through and they pick people to pair with products and if you are selected then they send you that item for free for review and I really think this is an awesome thing to be accepted into especially as a smaller influencer because as someone that doesn't receive PR there are so so many products that I would love to get to test out for you guys that I can't justify buying them for a video but I also would love to try and just get to know like the formula or the brand a little bit better so I'm really excited to be accepted into it and I have have four items from them that I want to talk about first just so we can kind of scoop those out of the way. I think to get started I'm going to go in first with my lip products and I'll focus on this one first. This is actually the Givenchy lip product I was accepted for and this is their La Rose Perfecto shade 202 lip balm and I thought that this was beautiful and the color I actually selected myself because I love this really nice bright hot pink and initially what I loved about this is actually the color. I really love that you can build this up a lot more than you can other lip balm colors so as you can see right here if I just keep swiping and swiping it does build the color but if I want more of just a sheer wash you can go in with just a tiny amount you can blend it out on your fingers and get a lot less intense pigment and I really really love that about this lip balm now as far as how this sits on your lips it could not be more of a polar opposite to the fresh one which I'm going to talk about in a second this one is a much thicker consistency it's not super thick like the um the fresh their sport wear if you've ever tried that 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 one is a very very thick almost like um, like a wear balm that you would put like on your elbows or something like when you're very chapped it's not thick like that but it's also not thin like one of their lip tints it's very much so an in-between formula as far as those two uh, spectrums are concerned but what I really enjoy about this is the way the color lasts and I think it's something magical about the thickness of the balm and the way the color is suspended in it it's just a beautiful wear throughout the day and I really do like it so according to what I can see here on the internet I just looked it up it looks like Nord Nordstrom, Sephora, Neiman Marcus, all those places sell this and it retails for $37, which I think is quite pricey for a balm. Now switching gears a little bit over to this guy from Fresh. This is the Fresh Sugar in the City uh, Tinted Lip Treatment and this is in collaboration with Ingrid Nilsson. And of course this one was also sent over for me to check out. I've worn this so much since I got it. I just love the color. It is so comfortable and very similar to the one from Givenchy. You can work with the color a little bit. As you can tell, it's a lot richer when you first swipe it on, but if you're looking for a little Little less all you have to do is kind of smear it out over your lips and it's just so comfortable now I think for me what really just sells it on the entire fresh tinted lip treatment is the way that they sink onto your skin because the consistency of these as someone who has fibro and is very sensitive to like thickness or gumminess on the lips even in the slightest it drives me crazy I love the way that these literally can just go on and have so much payoff and be so thin and so hydrating like everything at the same time it's so so nice and I also love that even even though they're giving you all of that and you do get that nice amount of hydration they're not super like goopy or glossy on the lips it's a nice satin vibe as you can see again right there like this is it after a minute or two it just maintains a beautiful satin finish so it doesn't like dry down it doesn't get again get like weird or goopy or like overly shiny and it's just a nice natural thing that you can put on your lips if you want to add a little color again whether you want to go deep like this if you want to have a lighter one they have those they even have clear ones like you can choose the color and all of that but the consistency on these for me is just so nice. Now, the next thing that they sent me there over a good old Octoly was this guy. Now, this is from Innisfree, and this is their Dewy Glow Jelly Cream, and this is really, really surprising. So, basically what this is, is a clear gel cream that's meant to give you a ton of hydration, and let me just show you, like, when I say it's a gel cream, it is, like, 
like it's an actual like jiggly kind of gel cream and it reminds me very much so of a hydra gel in the sense that you have a ton of intense hydration all at once and it really sinks into the skin like it doesn't leave a greasy layer on top it doesn't give any film at all it just really settles into your skin now for those of you that are not aware me and this little brand right here little miss innisfree we go way back because i am obsessed with their jeju volcanic i think it's their pore cleansing facial cleanser or whatever it's the big yellow bottle i talk about it in every um empties video because i go through them all the time i've literally used it for three years and it is amazing so when i saw this on the octoly site i was like oh everybody better hold up honey and give this to Paige because she needs to test it out and the first thing that i thought of when i saw this actually is my god that reminds me of something and you know i could not pinpoint it for the longest time and then i realized what it was it's this one from Clinique. This is their dramatically different hydrating jelly. And if you have tried this and you are familiar with it at all, this is insanely similar. And for me, that was a super shocking comparison because I've actually used, I would say, over half the bottle of this one from Clinique. And I actually went in a couple of times and did like a side-by-side, -side, this on one, this on the other, just to see, you know, consistency, texture. And these are insanely similar. And for me, using this one at this time of year, similar to why I can't use the Clinique right now, my face is just a little too dry to be in this kind of a phase. So while I do really enjoy this one, same as the Clinique. Obviously, I haven't used the whole thing. The only reason why is because right now my skin is going through like this weird like transitioning to dry and I don't know if it's like the time of year. I don't know what's going on, but these just are not enough hydration for me right now. So I think if I had to recommend them, it would be more so on the way of like if you have oily skin or if you just um, maybe you film a lot or you're out during the day and you just feel like your skin is drier, but you don't want to weigh it down like you don't want any heaviness maybe it's under your makeup or after you take it off you want it to feel nice and lightly hydrated and really just like sunk into the skin that is where I would say this comes in for me my skin just isn't there right now my skin is really wanting me to use like oils and that sort of thing and I've never had that happen before so I really do like this and they do technically spec it as a cream but just so you guys know it has much more of a like jelly kind of consistency like it's bizarre to me how light this is like when I rub it in it literally feels like water oh my god it smells so good now the last item I have from Octoly is is kind of fun um this is the first item I actually picked off of their website and keep in mind I had access to hundreds upon hundreds of items from multiple brands high end low end everything in between and I picked Jergens. I grabbed this so friggin fast this is their oil infused softening vanilla uh, 24 hour moisturizer and I just think it's so funny because let me tell you, growing up, okay, this is a Jergens household. My mom had like multiple bottles of this all over the house. Like it didn't matter. Getting out of the shower, grab the Jergens. You're rubbing somebody's back, get the Jergens. Hey, you just got done rolling in the dirt, grab the Jergens. Like this is just what it was. And so when I had the opportunity to pick it up and test it out, I was like, yes, please. So they sent it to me and I was really excited. Now, as far as the product itself goes, it's just like a normal looking kind of lotion. But for me, what I really enjoy about this as I apply more, because apparently I needed more, I've already put it on 12 times while I've been filming. Um, but what I really like about this lotion is the way it sinks into my hands. This is a very interesting consistency because it sinks in so quickly that you literally don't feel any residue on your hands and again I'm a super sensitive person when it comes to residue or texture or anything like that like I can feel it on a molecular level okay I can feel it just like sitting there and it makes my skin crawl and anytime a hand lotion specifically stays on my skin I feel like like I need to do this like I walk around like a pod person for 24 hours waiting for it to dry and this doesn't do that it literally soaks in immediately so if you hate the feeling of an actual moisturizer on your hands definitely check this out it is it's so nice now to the flip side of that I feel like after about an hour ish I really can't feel it on my hands anymore um so if I had to recommend this and like you know talk about it in that sense I would say it's more of a like light to medium density moisturizer so this isn't something I would reach for if you're like you know it's the middle of winter and you have like really dry cracked hands I don't think I would go this route for me this is more of what I would consider like an office moisturizer where you keep it there you can kind of apply it go back to work and it's nice it's light 
great. It's not going to get like grease or like weirdness all over your keyboard sort of thing. Um, you'll be able to still function after you use it versus like a really thick, heavy, creamy type of moisturizer. But I do really like it. Again, I love the scent. It's nice and light. And I think this would be perfect for someone who's, again, like in the office or maybe you're by a keyboard or you have to constantly be like doing stuff with your hands all day because it's not going to transfer, leave like a weird greasy filmy residue or anything. So I do really like it. It's just all about like what you're looking for specifically. But as a nice like hand moisturizer, girl, it smells so good. So now moving away from Oxalate, let's go ahead and talk about some stuff I did purchase myself. Starting off with these little ditties right here. These are from Ulta and these are the Morphe Jeffree Star Iconic Nudes and Iconic Bold Lip Sets. And these are actually a five piece mini lip collection. It says here that you get um, two liquid lips and two lip glosses and one lip topper in each collection. Both of them retailing for $25. Now the way that I'm going to break these down is I'm just going to give you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, and I'm going to tell you do I recommend them. And for me, these were just a fail. <laughs> like I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. I don't have it in me, guys. I'm tired. And I just feel like, first of all, for $25, bucks, you are basically paying $5 for a mini. And if you look at these, like, as just as far as what they are like let's just call a spade a spade okay these kits were designed to give a customer the jeffree star experience at a more affordable price point and i just oh i hate it so much when brands do that because i'm sorry a jeffree star liquid lip girl it is so good they're light they feel so nice on the lips like they are beautiful some of his like nude celebrity skin is iconic for a reason it's beautiful and they're just a great formula and the morphe one just it isn't the that, okay, let's just be honest about it. Now, I do love a good Morphe gloss. Like, their gloss formula, I think, is great. But you can get a full-size Morphe gloss by itself for, like, 6 or $7. And, again, breaking these down, you end up paying $5 a piece. So, like, why am I over here paying 5 bucks for this tiny little thing when I could just go get a full-size Morphe gloss and just, like, call it a day? You know what I mean? Like... I just, ugh, like, it's not there for me. Um, and that, again, I know it's all personal preference, but just, like, no thank you. Um, and the liquid lipstick formula, again, I just don't love it. I like the concept. I think the idea is there. But, like, Jeffree Star, honey, why don't you just do this yourself? <laughs> like, do this same kit, but with your own glosses and your own liquid lips. And make a nice little affordable kit like this for the holidays that your customers could enjoy. Like, obviously, we're not going to see it this year because Mr. Shane Dawson has taken over the world, girl. Yes, please. I love me some Shane Dawson. But um, I just wish that we could see something like this just from Jeffree Star and leave out like the Morphe formula because for me, that's what really is, just kills this. Like I love the idea. I think the concept is there. Um, but as soon as you add Morphe, it's already an affordable price point. Like all of these things you could already get from them. But for me, I just don't like them. The liquid lips, I don't reach for at all. I've worn them a couple of times and I do not like the consistency. Um, the glosses are okay, but again, I can get like a regular Morphe one. Um, and then the topper over here, because each one of these kits has a topper in it as well and the topper I'm just very lackluster by I can feel the grit I can feel the glitter and I hate that in a gloss so for me they're a pass Yep, negative Nelly is at it again. So next up, we're going to talk about some hair care, and I have this little ditty from Bumble and Bumble. This is their BB Glow Thermal Protection Mist with Honey Protective Complex, and guys, woo, I love this so much. They have other stuff in the line that I will 100% be checking out because I enjoy this so much. For those of you that have been here for a second, you know that I already love their original um, Invisible Oil Hair Primer. This is, again, a heat protectant and all of that in one, and what I love about this one so much as some one with like fine hair that gets very easily weighted down. I love how thin this is. It's still a thermal protectant. It still gives you all the benefits of this one, which is on the thicker side, but you get it in a nice thin formula that doesn't weigh your hair down. I do want to clarify the original for me does not weigh my hair down either, but I have heard from some people with thinner hair than mine that it can weigh your hair down. So if that is you and you're looking for something that's really nice and light and like a watery consistency, I would highly recommend this. Now I want you guys to real quick listen to the difference because it's so noticeable like even audibly you can tell the thinness difference so this is the original Okay, you can like hear like that thickness, that kind of like sloshy sound, very questionable sound, but you can hear it. Now, this is the one I'm talking about today. You can hear that, right? Like you can hear it just kind of like splashes around again, much more of a watery consistency versus the original. Now, as far as the aspect of this, that's supposed to give you like that nice kind of glowy, shiny kind of hair, that like nice healthy shine. Um, I don't really notice that, but I naturally have shiny hair. So have I noticed like nice, healthy looking hair? Yes, but I did just get a haircut and I naturally have shiny hair. So I don't really want to speak too much to that side of it because I don't think that would be fair. But as far as what it's doing and like the way it smells and the way it goes into the hair and everything about it, I just 
love the consistency of this so much and I'm definitely checking out the rest of the line. Now next up also from Bumble and Bumble we're going to talk about something y'all recommended and honey child please keep giving me your recommendations all day all night forever and ever because this is fantastic. This is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine Hair Styler for fine to medium soft hair and this is a great product and what it says on the front here is that this is the first of its kind cream to enhance texture and body with a soft product free feel for your perfect air dried style. So when, for example, I told you guys in the video that you recommended this to me, um, I've really been into just like air drying my hair lately. And a lot of times if you have like really thin hair like me, it's very flat, it just poof, and it plasters to your face. And it's not a cute look. It's like really difficult to get volume and your hair just really just fuddles out like a little dead balloon. And for me, on those days where I don't wanna mess with my hair, I don't wanna have to go in and dry it and care, and blah, 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 this is a great product. I've used it a ton of times, a little goes a long way. And and I really just love the fact that when I apply this to my hair, it again doesn't feel like thick or like overly weighted or just like ugh, like my hair doesn't feel bogged down. And this also helps kind of speed up the dry time of your hair if you're air drying it naturally as well. So it kind of goes in there. It really clings to my hair, not in a heavy way, but in like a slightly kind of voluminous way. And it gives it just a little bit more body than it would normally have. And it's just enough to where I'm not doing my hair, but I don't feel like it's plastered to my face. And I've really, really been enjoying this. I highly highly recommend it girl it's really really nice now next up I have a totally random product that we won't spend a ton of time on but this is a mascara and it is from essence and it is their you better work length definition mascara it is a gym proof and waterproof formula or so they say and can I just ask a real question girl why are you wearing mascara to the gym are you trying to get like the painful ugh, of, of sweating and having mascara go into your actual eyeballs like is that the goal because girl that is not my goal if 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 I ever grace the presence of a gym again which I haven't done in years if I ever did that mascara would be like so far removed from my actual brain like I'm talking like who way out there I cannot see you sailor where where are you the ocean no thank you because it burns when you get mascara in your eye it hurts why are we wearing things to the gym that hurt our eyeballs going to the gym hurts enough am I right yes please right here Whoa! Table for one of pain. Thank you very much. But all of that aside, like my, my feelings and like personal torture where the gym is concerned, um, this mascara, this ain't it. It is the most natural mascara I've ever seen. Like I will build this up to three coats and it's like, oh, is that a lash on there? Like I can't see nothing. Like what, what even is this? So no, this whole length definition no, it doesn't make them look longer. It makes them look piddly and sparse and exactly what they are. So no thank you on that. Um, also, waterproof, absolutely not. This is not even like living my life proof. I have been wearing lately like little to no face makeup when I go to work. And I've been testing out this mascara extensively because I thought like gym proof, waterproof, girl, she's going to do it. I'll be able to put it on. I won't have any transfer. Things are going to be great. Um, wrong. <laughs> Let me just tell you, throughout the day, I literally am constantly wiping away black weirdness from underneath of my eyes. This just is not it. Like, no thank you. I just wanted to tell you so you could save yourself, what, like the $3 or whatever this is? Nope. Goodbye. Now the last product I have for you is this guy right here. This is the Revlon Big Ol' Beastie Waver or something like that. I don't know what it's called. But guys, I have been using this a ton lately and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm not using it today because, well, my hair fell out anyways. But today I tried to use my straightener and I tried this new technique and it didn't work. I should have just used this. Um, but this product is fantastic for creating really big, beautiful waves in your hair. Um, and if you saw any of my videos last week, by the way, any of them at all, I had used this on my hair. And what I love about about this is that it gives you big nice voluminous waves as opposed to like 80s kind of crinkle waves which don't get me wrong I love me a good 80s crinkle hair wave day but this gives you like the beautiful updated 2019 like hair wave of your dream and I really love it it's super easy to use heats up nice and fast and I really love this feature right here actually which you can barely see but it's the lock feature on this so when you go to use it you just pull down and it releases you can crimp your hair and then if you need to set it down for anything all you do is is pull it down and pop it back on and it's just super user friendly and I love the fact that this is on here and easy to lash like that because I've had other waivers in the past that don't have that feature and it's it's scary sometimes when it just randomly goes flying all over the place like hello that's that's a beefy situation to try to deal with all by itself so I really really love this now as far as the heat goes on the back of the box there's a little chart that says you know hey um, if you have like fine hair use 0 to 6 if you have medium hair use you know 7 to 15 or whatever it is because right here on the 
dial, which you really can't see, but right here there's a little dial, and it has numbers on it. It has all the way from 1 to 30, and that's how you decide the heat level. So the heat level itself isn't printed on here. It is on the box, so that is something you would want to become familiar with before you take this and then throw away the box independently, so something to keep in mind. And all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Is there anything in here you were curious about? Do you like these kinds of videos? Do you like hearing a little bit here and there about like hair care and skin care and like all the weird things? Have you ever heard of Octoly? Like, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. You guys know the drill. Get down there, leave me your thoughts and opinions. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please do not forget you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. a mat time here in good old Northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching, for hanging out with me. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My face hurts. I like to oat, 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 blim, ba, no, no. <laughs> Today's the day that we're going to be talking about some stuff that I have been using off of camera, whether it is six, I like to eat, 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 <laughs> because the consistency of these as someone with fibo, fi fi fibo, needs body help. I need help for body. Those are not the words. And these are their beer. It just really settles into your skin and like bursts with flavor. Flavor? What? <laughs> okay.